What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go over some sales because recently we have a total of $1,500 worth of sales to go over. Let's get right into this. So some weeks are extremely slow while others are picking up little by little. The best time of the year for me is around November, getting closer to Christmas and especially Black Friday, I do get a ton of sales and in the local markets, I am able to find more products to be able to flip for profit as well. So now let's get into sales. Up first, I did sell my old smartphone for $200. This was the Samsung, I believe. A52, I upgraded to the 54 recently, so I did sell my old phone for $200, which I thought was awesome. Next was one of the Nintendo Switches. It was the original Nintendo Switch. This one here I did pay $150 for, and I sold it for $280. Next the, is the Canon camera that I did pick up at the yard sale that I showed in a previous video. That there I did pay $10 for, and I sold it for $35 after fees on eBay. That actually was shipped out to Vegas not too long ago, and I got a five-star review from that. So that was pretty awesome that they were extremely happy with receiving that because it was pretty much brand new in box. And after fees, $35, so in total $25 I made profits. It was still a good deal for picking that up at the yard sale for only $10. Next up was some of the NHL figures that we recently sold. It was again another $250 worth, which we are picking up sales with those NHL McFarlane figures, which I'm extremely happy about. Next up was two Funkos that was from our personal collection, mine and Ashley's. Both were The Walking Dead. It was a total of $38 after shipping for those two figures, which we thought was a great price to be able to sell them for. Next up was another $200 worth of those NHL McFarland figures. Like I said, they've been slowly selling little by little, and I'm extremely happy that the inventory is starting to go down and we're making back a lot of our money for those. Next was again, another $120 worth of those NHL figures, which is great. And then we did sell the Nintendo Switch Lite for $170, and I only paid $150. So for that one, it was only $20 profits, but in total with both switches it equaled out to be hundred and fifty dollars profits and I paid three dot three hundred dollars in total for them So hundred and fifty dollars in profit is still great profit in my opinion Next up was another hundred dollars worth of those NHL figures And I'm happy that so many are going but not necessarily all of the higher end ones Some of the lower end ones are selling a lot as well We also sold another fifty dollars worth of those figures right after selling the hundred dollars worth that I just mentioned Then we did sell Mortal Kombat for the PS2 for five dollars I had it listed on eBay, I've been lowering my prices, so after fees, it equaled out to be $5 profit for that game, but I was already ahead on all of those games, so that is $5 total profit. I don't have to take anything off for what I paid for the games, because I already made back my money. Next was another $100 worth of those NHL figures. So in total, we have two, 450, five, six, $700 worth of NHL figures, those NHL McFarland figures sold in the past couple weeks, which is amazing in my opinion. And then the last item that we did sell was 14 comics for $20. That was a set that I've been trying to sell for a while. And there's somebody that lives back home with my parents or in the town with my parents. So I was trying to wait until I go back home to bring it. The first time I went to visit my parents, I actually forgot those comics. So I did have to message them and explain that to them. And the next time I went to visit my parents, I did bring it and sell those as well. So in total, that was $1,568 worth of sales. And so $700 of that was in NHL McFarland figures, which I'm just happy that so many more are starting to sell. 
Honestly, I can't wait for the NHL McFarland figures to finally sell completely out. I know there's something that in the future I'm just going to avoid, but I want to just make back my money and get rid of them as quickly as I can because they do take up a lot of space. But I do know what I need to look for, and that's more Nintendo stuff. But I do now know what I need to look for, and that's more video games and Nintendo stuff and stuff like that. The Switches were very popular, and since I did sell the two Switches fairly quick, I did pick up another Switch Lite for $125 so I'm hoping to sell it for anywhere between $175 to $200 because it does include more items but hopefully we can get some money out of that and at least it will be around $50 to $55 profit at the end of the day which would be awesome to get. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video going over recent sales. Hopefully sales continue to pick up and hopefully I can get rid of more of those NHL McFarland figures and hopefully we can find more video games, consoles, and more things up my alley. I do have some of the comics that I do have remaining. There are a lot of foil and hologram comics and other great comics that hopefully somebody is looking at right now and they're interested in. So I'll update you guys in a future Flipping for Profit video if those do sell or if anything else does sell on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this series as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.